Oh no, hi everyone, Frostpunk just crashed, god damn it. Just worked a second ago, let me try to restart that and um, yeah, let us try to play the game actually. It is a pre-release build, so the bugs are very much expected. Um, I think it works okay now. Let me just make sure, yeah, that looks fine, right? So let me know if there's any problems with the stream, but uh, meanwhile, Hello everyone, long time no see. It's been uh, quite some time since I actually streamed any video games because of all the travel and crazy stuff going on around. So, you know, let's uh, finally play something. So we got an upcoming uh, strategy slash city builder game called the Frostpunk. Uh, thanks to the guys from GOG for hooking me up with a copy of this to play it early. Um, I know that I really love the music and art for this game because all the promo materials was amazingly good. I know literally nothing else about it, so I think we just jump in and try it, shall we? Okay, let's see. Untreated sick people will become gravely ill then die. Sounds like a reasonable thing to happen. Let's try not to do that. Alright, there we go. We fled from London, crossed the sea to reach the further north. Uh huh. Okay, I see we have to survive. Alright, yeah, so apparently the setting of the game is like you have to survive in a new world that is completely frozen and uh, the warmth is a very important factor. Uh, fight the cold, yes, exactly. So we need to pr uh, get generators working. Uh -huh. Okay, stockpile some coal and start the generator. How do I do that? Um, can I pause the game? Yes, I can. Um, all right, so shut down. No, I don't want to shut it down, right? So how do I stockpile some coal? Is it that is wood crates, that is steel wreckage? Where do I get coal? Coal pile. Um, workers. Yeah, so we can. I guess we can send some workers to do that. That is 18 hours. Um, 18 hours what? Workforce will extract coal. Guess we can split them, like send like 10 here maybe. And uh, let's see, is there any other coal stockpiles? Yeah, there are. Maybe five here. How many, how many did we, no, did I? Yes, I did, okay. So we can send five here, five here, and five here. Okay, um, guess our guys will now go there and start dragging coal around. Is that what happens? They just literally walk there? 80 homeless, that sounds like a terrible thing. Um, activate the generator. Yeah, okay, so I guess first, whoops, first things first, we have to actually get the coal. Like the level of details in this game is just insane. I mean, look at that. All right, they're gonna very slowly walk there. Let's speed it up, I guess. Hold on. Okay, so they literally gather coal and hold it back. Team level one. Okay, so I guess now we have enough so we can actually start it. There we go. Temperature, what is this? Uh, we got tutorial summary. Temperature inside the building depends on the power setting of the generator. Uh -huh. So basically you can uh, freeze everyone but have enough power saved or you can be sort of a good guy and uh, keep the temperatures high but then you will lose resources very fast. Right, we got construction tutorial. Um, okay, build streets and construct buildings, I guess. Building inside this heat zone is warmer and provides living more conditions, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Controlling time, yes, I figured that one out. Resources and workforce. Resource management is crucial. Yeah, I mean, I guess as much. You need the coal to power generator, wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. So there's some sort of research going on around, interesting. Steam cores are the key part of advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare food rations in a cookhouse. Okay, so you have like four resources basically. 
All right. Most buildings require you to assign a worker to work there. Uh huh. Okay. Engineers and workers. Okay, I get it. Uh, wait, wait. There was something else. We got the camera controls. Yeah. Okay, that was easy. So let's pause it and I guess let's build some tents. Uh, that sounds like a good thing to start because we have 80 homeless people, which is um, how much does it actually fit? Doesn't really say how many people will fit in there or uh, 10. Okay, so 10, 20 people. I guess it makes sense to just fill it with tents. Maybe that's that's 30. Um, I do not have enough wood. Where do I get wood? Uh, this nets me wood. Okay, so I guess we can stop one of those and send some guys to get wood, right? Oh, wait, we still have a ton of workers actually, so I didn't need to stop that. Okay, I guess this 15 is the maximum for this slot, not the max I have. I have 30 available, okay. So what is this stuff? This is code deposit, uh, build a mine. All right, um, what do we have here? We have, send some guys here. Yeah, let's just, you know what, let's just split all of them. And that is a steel wreckage, I'll take that. Sawmill, okay, so there's like sawmills can be built. We got another coal deposit. That looks nice. Uh, so get some discontent, lack of shelter. Yeah, I mean, I would build more, but I don't have enough wood. Book of law, adaption, uh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What is this? I guess emergency shift. Ooh, is those like, like laws that you can choose? Radical treatment. Can I, can I just sign it? Is that how it works? Fighting arena. You'll have to build fighting arena. Hey Renato, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Okay, that is interesting, but I have no idea what that means. Is there a tutorial about that? No, there is not. So I guess we cannot do that just yet. Let's have the economy tab here. Uh, we got, okay, so we got a couple of piles that are non, uh, non touched, untouched essentially, right? I don't really have any food processing going, which is not very good, I guess. Okay, do we have any wood? Not yet. Those sounds are terrifying. Oh, I guess that, that was end of shift. Okay. That is a scary place to live. Range setting overdrive. Okay, I wonder. Oh, there's some random events. Okay, that's interesting. Housing problem. No roof over our heads. I'll provide some shelter. I'll provide shelter for everyone. I mean, I think you have two days to provide shelter for 50 people, which means... Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try to do that, I guess. I mean, we just need some wood, right? Um, how much does it actually take? 10 wood, so we need uh, 50 people. So 50 wood, I guess, right? Which means we had just stop the coal thing going. Um, I, I mean, we don't even need to stop it. We just need to throw more people at this stuff. And this is the wood, so I guess stop... Um, Put those guys here. So we need more wood basically, right? And is there any more wood stockpiles? There was this economy view, which was quite handy. Health, uh, steel wreckage, wood crates. So we got two caps, just two more, which we are not touching. I guess this, no, this is the one, this, no, this, yeah, this is the wood crates, okay. Remove guys from here, put them here. Yes, I mean, it's important to get coal because we need our stuff to work, right? Word of advice, the wisdom of the crowd. Facing demands, remember, people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. Hmm, that is curious. Okay, um, okay, yeah, so let, let's keep some time, I guess, because they are still sleeping. Come on, wake up. We are at day two now. Temperature will drop significantly. Eh, that doesn't sound good. So, what is illness and healthcare? Cold homes and workplace cause people to get sick. Without proper care, blah, 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 medical points. Uh, you'll need infirmary to get treated. Uh huh. Radical treatment law allows you to treat gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. Mm -hmm. The sustained life law allows you to keep gravely ill alive, but untreated, or care house indefinitely. Not sure which one is worse. <laughs> Okay, we got two gravely sick. That is not good. 
Um, I need 25 wood to build basic medical station. That is also not good because I don't have any wood. Okay, come on. When, when will you wake up and go to work? Is there a timer somewhere? Um, I guess this is free t free time. Yeah. Can I like mobilize them or something? Get 13 hours left. What is this thing? Wood advice. Critical shortage. I know that it is critical shortage. Um, perhaps a short burst of effort. Okay. Let's see. So what is this? Emergency shift. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after 18 hours. Okay, so those are the emergency policies. And you can basically pick one, enforce something. So you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Do we want that? I kind of have a feeling this gonna end. I mean, let's try. No, we need we need wood. We need to build houses. We need to build medical thing. Okay, uh, building abilities. Uh, day night cycle. Yes, I already figured that out. Uh, wakes up at 6 a.m. Holy shit, I would die from that. Uh, building abilities. Uh, unlock new building ability by signing a law. Um, okay, so ability icon. Wait a second, where was that ability icon one more time? So building abilities can affect society. Each has a cooldown, many cool, uh, many costs. You can find out more, blah, 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 blah. Buildings panel, where's the buildings panel? Now this construction panel, right? Well, uh, that is a temperature chart. That is actually a very nice visualization, very fancy. All right. Um, this is economy, not building. So where's the buildings? Stat? No, no, no. Stockpiles. No, this is stockpiles. What? Uh, where do I find the skills or whatever? I guess there's just no skills for the current thing, right? Yes, I'm missing something. Um. Yeah, provide shelter. So we need more woods. Can you please get to work? Um, or do I have to activate it somehow, actually? Book of Laws, Adaption, yes, I already enacted this law, right? Signed. Um, am I missing something? Is there a button that I'm just not seeing somewhere? So I send unlocks. Okay, so I guess the policy has to say that it unlocks something, but in our case, I don't think it does. So it's basically, no, new ability. You can force workers. Okay, uh, dis ah, but this will rise the discontent the people have. So where where is it? Where do I activate that uh, functions? Func no, functioning, that's not what I want. Okay, that is slightly confusing. Free time, um, let me think. Where would I be if I was an ability? Well, not in this menu for sure. We got construction. No, not here. Okay, wait a second, that's the tutorial says where you get it. Um, oh, is it like directly in a stockpile? So for say like here's the wood crates. Yeah, there we go. Okay, God, I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay, so we yeah, this content will. Oh, holy crap! That's quite a rise. That is quite a rise. Okay, I don't know if that was a good decision, but um, we need that wood. We definitely need that wood. Um, yeah. Okay, that did not go well. I mean, they they. Did woke up already, so I don't know why I just did that because that, that was extremely dumb. It's just like let's force them to work when it's actually work time. Perfect, just bloody perfect. Time to get to work. Okay, get me wood, please. All right, uh, no, 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 let's not. Okay, we have enough to build two more houses. I am gonna do that. Two. So I need. Um, we we needed fifty, so that's like twenty, then three more. And then we also need to build that medical thing, right? Because people get sick. Okay, we got another one. Three. Come on, four. So we need one more. And then we can build the medical station, infirmary, whatever it's called. All right, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we got the houses for everyone. They just need to be built. Um, you know what we can do? We can actually... 
take some people off of that because we no longer need that much wood and throw them onto the um, other stuff like here so where was the other wooden mining things this one i think no this is still five this is still five where did i i thrown a lot of people into woodworking somewhere i guess it was that one right where i had like 50 i know there we go there's another one so we don't need that many and i enacted the laws for nothing just just to cause people discontent basically that is not very nice okay right so we can build the what is it infirmary basic medical station yeah let's go for that so we need 25 wood um there's a temperature drop coming which means we will have to okay how do i research stuff actually i guess we need to build a research station or something okay we can build this thing means people will get slightly healthier which is always good all right now uh, food yeah it would be nice to have actually some food so we got hunters and we got uh raw food nutritious meals okay resources working and gather nearby coal okay so this is it shelter promise fulfilled hope rises nice okay at least something good came out of that okay no more discontent that's that's great um stockpile some coal so we need 200 coal which means we actually should probably put more people into coal than wood um okay that's not very nice those wood crates i guess we can take off some people from maybe steel wreckage i mean we don't really need that much right and then put them here and uh, let's see what can we build so there is this there's the tag branch and that is a lab there we go 15 wood and five steel that's not that expensive but i don't really, don't really have so i don't really have any warm place to build it i guess that would be the best place is that why it's green not adjacent to a street um okay it doesn't fit in here does it yep Okay, I guess let's plop it here. So that means it's basically built out in cold. And it won't actually be as warm. I know it's still quite warm, actually. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I'll take that. I don't really completely understand how exactly this works, but it's fine, you know. Um, okay, so we got the infirmary working. We got the houses for everyone. We are stockpiling coal. We now can... Um, I assume we can research stuff now. Okay, so what is Steam Hub? Mm, allows us to build Steam Hubs. Powered with generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones. Okay, so it's a small heating station, essentially. We got heaters. Uh, I guess this is a personal, yeah, so during the work hours. Um, yeah, so do I guess we want the Steam Hubs, right? this costs still and 10 wood for research this costs literally nothing so it's just like automatically deployed okay um i guess let's go for steam hubs for now and uh, we can yet yeah, throw all of our engineers here it is closed at this time that's absolutely fine um no i wanted to have a look at the book of laws can we sign something good so i guess not yet because the old one is still in effect right all right unemployed uh, we still have 10 engineers that do nothing and 15 children who don't really do anything yes uh people needs laws buildings abilities okay i figured that out workforce uh, children can be employed at all initially that's very promising <laughs> i guess you can pass some laws huh okay that's very dystopian this workshop to develop new buildings and improvements yeah i figured that much so far seems pretty straightforward and man the graphics on this one is just really really awesome okay there is is that a is that a no it's just a guy walking i was like is that a car okay i guess we can just start skipping time until morning because there's nothing interesting really happens at night right okay why did you stop my time what's going on is that morning i guess So we can uh, no no that's not what I clicked. You wanna So I guess yeah, I guess we can build it here. And it will extract 
to extract coal, right? Adjacent to streets. I mean, we already have any streets over there, so... I don't know if it's worth it right now. I mean, we have enough coal stockpiles for now. So, resource depot, I guess this is something you place. I guess we need hunter's hut, right? Because we are, do we have any food actually? We coal, I mean, we have some food, raw food, right? So I guess we need to build both of those. So let's get to it. Pop this here and uh, I don't have enough wood again. <laughs> okay, well, that's not a big problem. I just need one more. There we go. And now we can build a hunter's hut. Um, there's the green stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the way to do the research goal not set. What? But I just said, no, I, I did set the goal, right? This start. No, you can't start. Not enough food. Oh, okay. I guess they have to wait for the supplies to come and then you can start the research. Okay, I see. We're out of wood. Um, that is not very good, but I have enough people working on the wood, so that should be fine. I guess it's uh, okay so this is the start of the work day we have four sick people which is not very nice um, but I did build the uh, medical post so we should be okay um, where is it actually tents 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 where's my medical post there it is oh shit I forgot to employ people here of course <laughs> So the sick people are just like lying there without any help. Makes sense. All right, uh, word of advice, resource shortage. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address, we can enact a law. No, thank you very much, I already did that. I already enacted the law and that was all in vain. Uh, hey, Xeris, I am partnered with GOG.com and they provided me with an early copy. Uh, the game is not out yet, it's releases in like five days, I think. Six days, yeah. So, um, all right. Um, that's still. Oh, wait, there's different branches. Holy crap. Okay, we got beacon. What is that? Allow us to build a beacon. Uh, send scouts to search wilderness for goods and. Whoa, what? Wait, there's more than just your town. All right, that is interesting. Faster gathering. Uh, coal thumper. Pumping pressure water. Okay. Sawmill still works. Right, I want to research all of that, but we're going to start with the steam hub. Okay, cookhouse. Uh, we need more engineers. Thank you very much. It is quite awesome. I mean, I've, I'm so far really, really digging it. So let me decrease maybe some people from... We don't really need that much steel right now. So I would basically throw them here. Why can't I throw more? Four available. Oh, I guess maybe like this. Yeah, that looks better. So, okay, this is maxed out. What about this one? Two workers here. So we got two hunters. Oh man, this is tough. This is really tough. So you got to basically balance all your tiny population to figure out what kind of buildings you want to get. One sea captains. Come on, I just assigned you there. Why are you already sick? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm still not stockpiling enough coal, which is, I guess, not very nice. So we need to get less people doing that. And more people doing coal, I guess. Yeah, let's send maybe one engineer and one engineer on this stockpile. I wonder if they give... Like, what's the difference between engineers and workers? They have, like, different benefits? Hmm. Never... The game never really explained that properly, I guess. There we go. We can finally start the steam hub. What is this one? Sick absence? Yeah, that's fine. You can be sick. That is not a big deal. Okay, so we now finally have some food rations, uh, but we're converting our raw food. One hungry. How are you hungry? We have so much food now. How were you not hungry before? He is at home. Then go and eat. <laughs> it's like, come on. Um, people from our convoy. A woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she... she uh, She's sure they're still there. She wants to join the first scout Tim will send. Um, yeah, we'll do what we can. I mean, 
scout team sounds awesome, but uh, yeah, um, I get so many followers with only 3k total. I have one. Uh, I mean, I'm. I don't know how I get so many followers. Don't ask me, man. Ask my followers. I've been just streaming stuff I do, like software development, startups, and video games occasionally. So, you know, just doing my stuff and people, for whatever reason, come and watch. <laughs> All right. Um, we can try to secure people left behind. Build a beacon. Okay, yeah. So we need to discover the scouting thing or research the scouting thing first, I guess. Build the beacon. Okay. I guess I stockpiled enough, right? So we can maybe cut down the guys from here. No, not here. Um, and throw them out to do this is maxed. And get a bit more hunters, I guess. And uh, yeah, that looks okay. Thanks for the follow. Um, Xerx, uh, welcome to the stream team or what <laughs> I'm terrible at that stuff so just welcome all right um da -da 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 -da. there we go come on okay i guess i'll just speed this up to see i guess they will will they make it today no they won't I can't okay this is this five people how are you hungry we have so much food just go and eat that okay they are eating they just need time basically right yeah okay good why are you not eating is that the same guy are you the one who was hungry last time <laughs> what is going on with you okay come on yeah, yeah yeah continue let's go let's go let's go i want to see research done i want my steam hub but the purpose of our struggle is well aren't you a very positive dude okay um workers needed there's so much to do and not enough hands on it but children to work. Yeah, no, not gonna do that. I know how that will end up. I already enacted one stupid law. Not trying to do that again. Got weather change. Okay, food and hunger. Um, okay, so different things produce different. Hot house. Okay, uh, so we got hunters. They also work during the day, obviously. We got weather changes. I guess. Yes, for drastic weather changes, you can account by pumping the generator higher once you research that, right? So you can overdrive, probably. We don't really need that now. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, all right, our research is nearly done. Come on, finish the... Just finish the bloody thing. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Minus 40 degrees. Oh, shit, that is not good. Can we overdrive it? Um... How much heat will that generate? Okay, that is kind of okay now. Um, yeah, all right. Minus 40 degrees is quite terrible. Let me tell you. Okay, we got the steam hub researched. Um, what can we... Uh, yeah, we can research a beacon now, right? This is what we actually need. Okay. On the other hand, I do remember uh, playing and ice skating when it was minus 40 when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, it was it was okay. Um, what, 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 what is going on? Frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. God, why I... Uh, we must do something. Um, mm, yeah, okay. We must do something for sure. The question is what? So what can we do? Would fight like we definitely don't want yeah let, let them fight it's just like <laughs> they are dying from frostbites let's make a fight arena perfect okay is it child labor child shelters uh-huh providing children with a place in a child shelter provides a permanent hope bonus okay uh -huh. so those are like two alternate development branches i guess right so you can either like make children work or provide them with shelters cemetery corpse disposal we got radical treatment 30 percent will be left as amputees so what does it mean actually what does amputee mean and sustain will just they will just lie in beds forever basically i wonder what's actually worth getting an amputees who cannot work 
or getting people who are permanently i'm guessing there will be some technology later that will allow you to get them out of this like permanent gravely ill state uh but i don't know if i want to bet on that um sustain life well yeah yeah i mean let's try a sustain life approach because why not i guess okay we don't have anyone who's gravely sick so that's good which means why take all these beds with goners um those people are just extremely positive and like very optimistic just about everything what are you too cold in this building aha uh -huh. um i have just the thing for you what where, where's my wait a second where is my newly researched steam hub aha uh -huh. um, um can i actually just plop it here yeah let's just plop it here it looks nice Okay, so I just need to build it. I guess maybe we should, uh, you know what? I probably should research those personal heaters as well because that's why people are getting frostbites, right? Because it's way too cold and they are working out there in the field, which is not heated at all. So <laughs> they are literally freezing there. Okay, that's not very good. All right, uh, so we need to finish this beacon research. There we go. Um, and we can research the personal heaters. Down you go. We can actually build a beacon now, right? Uh, no, we cannot because we are lacking some steel. Okay, so I can just wait for steel. We get some of it quite soon. Come on. 35. Um, where is... What do I want to do? I want to speed up this. Oh, no, come on. We won't build a beacon today. <laughs> Damn it um come on temperature you're you're supposed to get warmer it's almost like the simulation of the winter this year <laughs> just it's just now like almost end of april it's getting warmer here i don't know about like your your area guys but here has been pretty terrible actually <laughs> okay come on yes yes we're doing fine all things considered thank you thank you we're doing absolutely fine what generator critical what Oh, shit. I guess that's... So, I guess it's not very good to keep it on overdrive all the time. Um, heat zone range levels. What is that? Can you increase, like... I guess you can increase the heat zone uh, area of the generator. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. I turned off the overdrive. I see. Yes, I figured that out. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, you are not functioning because it's too cold. I know. I'm working on it. Is that thing built now? It is built, right? So, yeah, 24 hour. Yeah, 24 hour sounds fine. Can we get... Uh, yeah, I wanted to build a beacon thing, right? There we go. So, I guess it makes sense to build it within this heat area. What about this street? Can I build the street somehow myself? I guess not, right? Um, doesn't see any like street management or anything like this. Oh no, build street. There we go. We can just do this. Okay, cool. Hey, Pictorum. I am a partner with GOG.com, as you can see in the bottom, and they provided me with a copy to try the game out early. This is how I get my copy. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, the third person asking today, I think, already. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the game is really good. So if you like it, go grab it on GOG.com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Uh, this stuff is researching. What do we have here? Beacon. Building is not connected to the generator. How do I connect it to the generator? Do we even have a generator? I mean, we have a generator, right? This is the generator, yes. So how do I connect it to the generator? I guess it has to be connected by the street. Is that how it works? Just have to wait a bit. Let's see, does it actually... You connect it now? Yes, you're okay. So you have to manually adjust streets. Um, bad business idea to release the game to streamers a week early. How is it bad? I mean, you're here, you're looking at the game. That's definitely good in my opinion. <laughs> 
Okay, we're no longer lost and blind. Okay, cool. So we actually got a beacon working and uh, at least five citizens must be available. Okay, so where do I get five citizens now? I guess I can subtract some from... Oh, we have a ton of people working here. How many you had? There we go. Five people free. We can now create 40 wood and five people. Okay, let's try. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, that 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 is not what I wanted to press. Okay, um, view map, yes. Uh, crash sites, lost expedition. Yeah, let's go for lost expedition. I feel like that might give us more workers, right? Eleven hours to arrive. So both are not that far away, but um. Yeah, lost members of our expedition. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, so you cannot really zoom closer to just see. They are a bit close, in my opinion. But whatever, you know what? Let's go back to the city. All right. What's, what's happening? Oh, there's a, literally a balloon here. Okay. They are traveling on a hot balloon. Um, I mean, I guess they won't be called, right? Hey, Jeep Guy Gaming, um, sad to hear that, but, you know, I've, um, like, the, the GOG guys are super responsive about the the whole, like, uh, streamer supporter stuff, so it's, like, pretty cool. Um, I mean, you, so, Impictorum says that he's looking at the game, but by the time he gets to play it, he's never going to be like, ah, a moment where you figure shit out. Well, it's on one hand, yes, but on the other hand, you get a chance to have a look at how the game looks and plays before actually buying it, right? Because in my opinion, this is like, I do that to whatever games that I'm interested in and, you know, I can get because I'm just a very tiny guy who streams in his free time. So I think that it is good anyway, because then you know exactly if you would like the game or not, and then you can just uh, drop that. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I, I never contacted with 11-bit directly, actually, so I don't know how that works. Uh, GOG guys are amazing, like, can wholeheartedly recommend them. They're, they're, uh, like, the YouTuber slash streamers team is, is just incredible. Okay, people from our convoy, ready to search. Okay, people cheer the giant balloon, blah, 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 volunteers have lined up. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so we finished the research, let's create a new one how do i upgrade 50 ah i see so you have to upgrade this stuff but uh, why can't i click what is their generator power upgrade okay so this includes generator upgrades uh we got the beacon do you upgrade it once for or do you have to do it for each and every tree which would be slightly annoying i guess we got hunter's gear Hmm. Okay, so additional raw food. Faster gathering, we got coal thumper, sawmill. I mean, we still have enough resources, so maybe I'll just go for the second level for now. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, what's about... They, where's, where's my scouts? How do I know? Oh, there we go. Nine hours, 21 minutes. Okay, so I guess they're just gonna do it by tomorrow then. Right. They're just hanging around the city right now. This they're, they're like literally above the city. That is not how expedition looks. God damn it. Okay, um we got seven gravely sick. Oh shit, that's not very good. That is not very good. I guess we should build more medical tent. Why can't I build it? I don't have enough wood. Oh god. Okay, I have a feeling that I'm gonna royally screw up all, all the settlements in the first run and they all gonna die a terrible death or revolt on me or something among those lines. We're still at minus 40, by the way. And people are... Yeah, that's why they are freezing, right? So I guess turning on overdrive is a good idea. You just have to watch the... Watch the overheating. Or the stress level, it's called, okay. Uh, wait, wait a second, we got something waiting, so what are you waiting for? Explore, yes. Happy reunion, we enter the camp. Blah, 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 okay, we got children and adults surrounding us. All right, escort survivors to the city. 
Send the survivors. Okay. Um, why? Why would you send them to the city? Yeah, let's just discard them. I don't see any downsides to them. It's like literally no downsides. Why would I send them there? Okay, so they will escort them. I guess the downside is that if you didn't do that, you could actually send the team exploring more, right? Is that how it works? Okay, uh, let's get to work. We can't blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I think the temperature is going to become much warmer now. There we go. It's now rising, so we can actually turn off the overdrive. Oh. Those effects are really cool. Like... <laughs> The graphics are just really good for a city builder. I wish I could zoom in a bit more. Because, you know, I feel like there's a lot of details to all of those things here. All right. Um, I, did I watch this tutorial? I did not. So, yes, I figured the beacon already. I figured the exploration already. Okay. Um, so we got that stuff working. We got the beacon. So they are on the way back. So I get some more people now, but that would mean I need to build more houses, right? Oh, fuck. Mm, that might have been a poor decisioning. I don't have any food. That is bad. That is really bad. I need more hunters. Um, but what do we have enough? We have enough coal, I guess. So we can take some people off the coal production and throw them in for hunting. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay, I guess it doesn't matter if I have engineers. Engineers only work here, okay. Oh, God, we need more food. We try, like, that is just straight out bad. Um, okay, this thing doesn't work. Why? Could not, okay, so there's not enough food. Yeah, I get that. Um, I guess I can take up one worker and throw him here. So we have 10 hunters, so they produce 10 food a day. How much food do I actually consume? Wait a second, there is... So we got the Book of Law, which means we can enact another law, right? Okay, let's see. We got overcrowding. Uh, medical facilities should be fully utilized. Capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Mm -hmm. But using extra capacity will cause discontent. Discontent will rise... <laughs> this game just hates people. New ability, extra rations to medical facilities to speed up recovery. Uh-huh. Doesn't really help me much, does it? Care house. Gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. There we go. Um, oh, pr oh, man, I should have went for amputees. There's a prosthetics thing there. Oh, man. Okay. You know what? Okay, let's go for the care house. And we got so so we can build. Uh, no, that, that. Okay, we got a cutscene. That is a lot of people. So I have to build houses for them. Um. Yeah, we'll look for the others. We will definitely look for the others because I feel like this is how you. Okay. First of all, we need more tents. Two. How many are there? Three. Is that enough? We also need that new thing, and we don't have enough. Yeah, yeah, search for others, I figure. Ah, okay, so I guess we can send the expedition somewhere else. So we got Gloomy Cave. Sounds very fun. Crash site. Sturdy sh you know what? Let's go through Crash Site. Is that the closest? Yeah, that's the closest thing, right? This is also like 22. Yeah, let's go through Crash Site first. I'm really curious as what happens there. Okay, um, and... Uh, I wanted to build that. Okay, first of all, I have a lot more people now, right? Yeah, I have a lot of people now. So you can actually distribute them and make this whole thing slightly faster. Uh, you go here. Ah, we actually need a lot more people here now. So maybe it's a good idea to build another hunting, uh, whatever it's called, hunt, hunter's hut. Because we do need a lot more food now. Uh, yes, Hunter's Hut. Thank you very much. And I guess it also makes sense to build roads, right? One and two. Okay. Yeah, I still need to build that medical thing, but I don't have enough wood. Where's my wood crates? There we go. 
let's throw more people here. Hey, why, why can I only put eight? Oh, because ten, 10 is an engineers, okay. Okay, okay, we got, oh, there's not even enough people here, there we go. 26 without houses, so there should be, I sh think I need another one. Need one more tent and a bit more road over here. There we go. What is this? Read under construction. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, this thing is not researching anything anymore. So we got generator power or generator range, but we need the bloody wood. Uh, yeah, okay. More scouts. We don't really need more scouts right now. Coal mining, charcoal, wall drill. Holy crap, there is some technology here. Medical post upgrade, bung house. Um, that might be... I wonder if you actually can upgrade your buildings here because, you know, like demolishing all the tents that I built. Hot house. Uh, that might actually be a good idea. It allows growing crops and provides a lot of food. So I guess we need more wood and I guess research that first. Oh, how do, oh yeah, we're building a lot of stuff. That's why I don't want to have any more wood. All right, all right. Um, so where's our... Ugh, God. What? No, no, no. Turn it on, turn it on. We do need that. Those chili, yeah. So that is not... I guess we have to build the pillars there as well. Like maybe somewhere here. I guess we need two, right? Like here, maybe. Okay. What? One of our people died. Oh, no. S day six from our arrival. Wait, a minute. it's just been six days? That is extremely fast. 18 great. Yes, I know that there are 18 people. Wait, 16 who are sick. And we have people starving. Oh, shit. That is not good. Uh, first death. Open the Book of Laws. Okay. We need a way to dispose of body. Uh-huh. And I have to... Wait, so... <laughs> is his body just gonna lie around for one day until I figure out how to enact the second policy? <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now, actually? Okay, come on. Finish this stuff up. How many people? 25 are homeless, so there's gonna be 15 right now, right? Those are not connected to generator. Come on, finish the road. I know you can do that. Also need to build... No, wait. Before building that... Oh, man, this is so tough. I think I need to research the food thing first. Okay, they're still traveling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, work day ends. Wait, are you just gonna leave 25 people on the street? You know, people who are one more person died. Okay, more sick beds needed. I will open. Yes, I will open a new medical post. Just give me some time. So I will make more. I guess maybe it's just, I don't know. It's not extremely expensive to make those roads. So I'm just going to build a bit more. Okay, we are good on that, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. People are not terribly freezing, but uh, we do have a lot of sick people, so I have a feeling that's not gonna end well. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, speed up the time, please. What? Where are they going? What? 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 Wait, wait. Where? What? What the? What just happened? Just went somewhere. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, what is this? Uh, wood and raw food. Yeah, let's explore. Site discovered. Observatory. Take resources. Oh, that that is a lot of resources. Okay, the exploration is actually quite worthy. Okay, so you can either send them back to the city or you can, I guess, send them to another place. Yeah, let's go back to the city because that's a lot of food and we need that desperately. All right, all right. We're doing things. 
Okay, let's spit out the time. Come on, speed up the time, yes. We're doing fine. Yeah, I mean, we're doing okay. There's a lot of people dying and it's not quite working that well. Okay, um, scouts return. Yes, yeah, so we got now stuff. So we need a medical post, right? And I wanted to build that care house. Um, there we go. This is exactly what we want. And, oh wait, since we got a bunch of wood now, we can actually research the hothouse. There we go. So we can actually produce more food and, uh, what, hunter's hut? How, how is there no hunters anymore? Where do they go? No, but we only have two people who are, the, what? Two people died, what? I mean, I get the people died. What was that black notification here? Okay. Okay, a lot of people are just dying. I. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I still cannot enact any policy, can I? No, I still have to wait two hours. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna be overrun by zombies or something at this point. There's so many people just dying. Well, I mean, at least we have some food now and people are no longer hungry. So I guess we can send another expedition. Let's go to Gloomy Cave. Why not? Let's see what we can find in a gloomy cave. Hey, Hawaiian Couch Hog, you are the fourth person to ask this. I am a partner with GOG.com and GOG.com provide me with a review copy for the game to try it out early and stream a bit of it, which is exactly what I'm doing. So there you go. All right, um, more people dying, perfect. I can actually now enact something to do with corpses. So I can do a cemetery. Oh, we'll rise slightly, no risk of disease, okay. Or snow pit, that seems safe. <laughs> okay, you know what, let's let's go for cemetery. <laughs> snow pit sounds fine and all, but holy shit, that is some dystopian th shit. Okay, uh, why is it in people category? I guess it doesn't really matter where we put it, right? So we just put it somewhere. Um, I guess let's put it here. And I guess we need some roads. Um, why did they not still not build any roads over here? Is it not connected? Am I just like screwing it up? Like the indication of the connection to the roads is a bit wonky. Whoops, that's too much. I would want it to be a bit more obvious. So wait a second, no, not dismantle roads. I want to construct roads, right? So this seems connected now. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's see. Carol's promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Yes, that is fine. Yes, yes, yes. Find other settlement. Okay, we got the cemetery. Okay, we actually fixed all, almost all the discontent. And uh, most of our people... Okay, we got the hothouse researched, which is nice. Means we can assign a new research here. Oh, we got a medical house. What is this? Improved methods people employed will heal the sick 10% faster. Yeah. I don't know. So you can get more food from the hunters, meanwhile. I don't know if we want that. Get faster gathering. Maybe we should start doing like this. Wait a second. Let's first have a look at our resource stockpile. So we got 38. Yeah, we don't really have that much coal. No, we do have. We, we still have a bunch of coal piles that we can dig out, right? So we are okay-ish, I guess, for now. But we do have to slowly start researching the... Oh, we start to slowly researching the um, technology for mining the coal from the... I guess coal, coal mining? Is it coal mining or coal thumper? What's the difference? By pumping pressured water into underground coal deposits, coal thumper washes the precious resource to surface, forming a pipe. Oh, so this converts the coal from underground for... Uh, okay, coal mining I ex uh, 200 per day from underground deposits. So I feel like the coal mining would be a smarter way to go. Hmm. Do we need more scouts? I mean, I think we don't need more scouts. So maybe we want a generator range upgrade, actually. Let's go with that. 
because it is quite cold and building those tiny steam hubs does not seem to be extremely productive and it's also probably a good idea to build that um did i build a hot house no i didn't right so we got the care house and we got the medical post so we now need to build a hot house preferably not near the cemetery because that sounds like a terrible idea yeah let's build it here There we go. Okay, now it's connected. Um, street is under So what is this? Word of advice. We just used our first steam core. Steam core is a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores. So let's hope our scouts find them. Oh, okay. So it's like a rare resource that you can only find out there. Oh boy. Okay, that's going to go well. So why are you complaining about the roads again? You seem like you are connected. I don't know. It looks fine to me, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, that's... Oh, okay, they're still building it. Yeah, the, the road display could actually for sure be better because it's a bit, bit hard to say if the roads are being built or if they are there. Maybe it's just lags of the priorities version. Because there are some like known bugs in it but uh yeah okay uh wood uh, wood crates depleted i guess we have to find more wood crates we have actually more wood crates we don't have more wood crates which is terrible so okay so next thing we have to research is actually a sawmill no where's our this is wood crates okay so let's throw in like 10 people here we have any more wood crates because if not then this is really really bad and unless we find some wood with scouts we are actually a bit screwed and there's an iron ore as well so i guess you have to do processing okay you know what i'm gonna throw in some people here and throw in some people here and uh yeah i think we're good yeah that looks fine Okay. Oh, there's another rent. Note of thanks. Someone left a note of uh, the care house. It reads, thank you with all the work we have to do. It's so hard for families properly care for an invalid. Places like this live, uh, make life a little easier for all of us. Okay, hope slightly rises. That's always great. Um, mark all. What, what? What can I wait? That is ominous. What can I do with those people? That is kind of terrible. Can I just bury them alive or something? Throw them in the snow pit? Um, this game is, yeah. Okay, let's spit up the stuff a bit. Oh my god, no more wood crates. That is not very good. Okay, we got our scouts here. Beset by beasts. Okay, leave the bears alone. Attack the bears. Um, people in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. So I guess there's like a dice roll or something involved. Uh, let's, let's give it a shot. We have to help the survivors when people in the cave join them and together we drove the beasts away unfortunately the scouts died from the injuries i still get 19 people right so that's still a win for me statistically at least um so i guess they are coming back right is that i guess that's how it works are they coming back yeah they seem to be coming back Okay, that game is definitely not a very positive one. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. We actually need people here, right? And we need a lot of people here because we have nothing for food. We need more food. All right. How's our research going? Okay. Yeah, 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 come on. And move on chaps there's still plenty of work that's a solid point let's see what can we enact here so it seems like there's no point in not enacting the policies 
Because like even if you don't use the skills that the provide by uh, provided by the policy, you still uh, kind of develop, right? So. Oh wait, so if I would develop a frozen pit, I would have organ transplants? Is that all? Okay. Um, right, so we got prosthetics here. Uh, factory, and amputees with failure prosthetics and medical facilities. Uh-huh, oh man. Okay, now I'm, I, I was, <laughs> now I'm thinking I should have gone for amputees. Okay, uh, okay, let's go for the ceremonial burials, yeah. Okay, generated range upgraded. There we go. It's now a bit warmer everywhere. Although it's still cold as hell. Wait, was it shut down? No, because I researched the second level. Right? Yeah, there we go. That looks much nicer. Okay, so people will freeze way less right now. What is this thing actually? Come on, tooltip, work, god damn it. Comfortable breathing, getting ill. I mean, it's, it looks fine like this as well, right? So we're good, we're good. I don't really need, no, I do need those because otherwise the building's outside. Well, I don't really need this right now. I'm guessing I'm gonna, will, I'm, I'm gonna need them when the temperature will start falling again, which is, okay, one level is not that bad. Okay, find other settlements. Okay, we're still waiting for those guys to come back. So we need to research something. Uh, yeah, we needed to research the sawmill, right? Because we're literally out of wood. And I guess our only source of wood would be the people who would like scout stuff, right? So that is not very good. Um, it's the balloon station. Okay. Um, got observatory we got sturdy shelter yeah so 22 hours here 21 let's go for shelter why not all right okay there's the survivors coming in oh man i need to build more housing now right child's plea captain will find a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave but nobody died recently game you're lying to me <laughs> Says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. Uh, um, okay, we just lost some hope. All right, I guess. Why? Why are you turned off? What the? Oh, so it's or or either or. Okay, so you cannot turn both of them on. It's interesting. Um. Can also individually toggle the house heatings. That's interesting. Okay. Imagine playing on harder difficulties. You can like go crazy bonkers on all that. And you would actually have to do that. Okay. Um. All right. But I think that's actually was quite a nice stream. So let me just uh, save the game. Um. Exit. I don't know if they will exit to main menu or not. So I'll not do that. So. This is Frostpunk. Once again, thanks to GOG.com for hooking me up with a copy again. Uh, it was really fun to try it out. It's coming out on April 24th, I believe. So just about six days left. Um, and if you like city building games, holy shit, this is a good one. Like, do have a look at it. Yeah, um, let's wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. And as usually, I see you next time.